One of the problems psychedelics had when they were first came out, which seems hard for us to imagine, is people didn't think the psychological problems could be caused by any sort of chemical imbalance. Everybody knew it was your mother and dad, or you know, something like that. So, um, and psychedelics had to fight that battle, and, and um, they just didn't believe that. You know, Milltown had helped a little bit in the late 1940s, early 50s, but that was in my, Milltown. That was one of the first tranquilizers, um, and um, that that helped get the idea across that there may be some chemical thing if you do with people who had nervous disorders or something, and then psychedelics came on and, and, and amplified the problems for some people, so, which was just the opposite. And the, the real problem with them is that the effect of the psychedelics doesn't depend so much on the drug as it does on the person's own psychological set and the setting they're in. And they didn't know this for about 10 years. So you give the same drug to the same person in the same dose, and if the person's life had changed, you get a different effect. And, what, and how would you want to use a drug like that in medicine? Well, then finally Stan Groff and the other uh, therapists realized that there, there was a good addition to therapy because it helped people bring up materials that had been repressed or they were afraid of and so forth. So it was helpful that way.